guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you all of my beach essentials essentially essentially what goes in my beach bag so if you guys are new to my channel my name's Haley. i do all kinds of motherhood and lifestyle videos on this channel i live close to the beach so we honestly are there all summer long it, we're there all year round it's usually my daughter and i she's four years old we have it down to a t like it's a science um, that we have figured out exactly what we need for a beach day uh taking one trip you know carrying everything and not having it be a massive struggle these are essentials these are not like all kinds of filler items that would be nice to have this is like again essentials beach must-haves for just uh, a day at the beach a very easy day at the beach so if you guys want to see what's in my beach bag then go ahead give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and dig inside my bag and share with you everything that we bring on a typical day at the beach so first thing is first I love this beach bag I recently got this from Target and it's just worked out so wonderfully it does have that seagrass material so it has some holes in it so if it does get sand in it you're able to just shake it out and the sand comes right out um, and it hasn't tracked in any mess or anything but it has been great I love the size of it it holds all of our things I've definitely gone through a bunch of bags in my day and I think that uh, either like a mesh bag or something like the seagrass material where sand can just kind of slip out of it is gonna be key and then making sure it's you know big enough to hold all of your things is obviously key as well and comfortable for carrying if you have to walk from your car down to um you know your spot it's key so obviously no beach day is complete without packing a lunch so we just pack a little cooler um you know if there's a bunch of you and you have a large family of course you can bring like a huge cooler and fill it with drinks and all of that and it definitely works for us so i usually just pack uh, a lunch box and then throw in anything that doesn't need to be chilled um, in the bag separately and then of course I always pack you know napkins hand sanitizer um, and things like that and I'll just keep that right in the lunch box of course you cannot go to the beach and be in heat without having some insulated containers for water Sydney and I, of course, you know, we want to stay hydrated. For these, um, I absolutely love the Contigo for kids. It keeps it nice and cold. I'll fill it with ice water, and this keeps it cold for several, several hours. This is just my favorite. It has a handle, so if I needed to strap it onto, you know, a bag, or Sydney can just hold it easily, but I usually just throw it right in this bag, and it is good to go. I, myself, do not have a good one. I need to get it like a Yeti or something, but I do use this tumbler from Starbucks, and and this is just what works for me it's nice and big it does keep things nice and cold but if you have just just anything it can be like a cheapo but anything that's gonna be like steel insulated it's gonna be great for bringing waters and keeping them cold if you're not bringing a large cooler with you I just threw these in here but that's like a no-brainer of course sunglasses are a must um, and then I do bring a beach blanket so there's all kinds of different um, you know, you can bring any beach blanket a sheet. Uh, we do have like a different one that we used to bring, but I just like this because it's super compact. It was very inexpensive from Amazon. And I love that this has tassels and I like just the neutralness of it. And if you don't use it as, you know, laying it on the sand to like chill on and it's chillier at the beach, you can totally, you know, this can double as obviously like a blanket to keep you warm with. So I like bringing um, just a, a blanket so that we can eat lunch on or keep ourselves warm on. And this is a really decent size too. Um, and then I just keep it right in my bag. It doesn't hold sand. I just shake it right out and it doesn't really hold sand. So it's been working out wonderful for us. Next thing I want to talk about is my beach visor. This is newer to me this year. I love it because it can roll up into this small size here so it's very compact and um, it does have this little elastic on it so that you can keep it rolled up otherwise you just fold it out and then it has a little velcro here with a cute little bow on the back and it's just wonderful for keeping i mean the belt this does go down um it's just wonderful for keeping the sun off of my shoulders and off of my face aging skin <laughs> this used to be like a oh my word no way and now as i age i'm obviously understanding how important it is to keep that sun off of your face 
um, and so that is just a must and I love how you can keep your bun like your big hair bun out and it's actually a little bit more cooler than having a covered hat that's trapping all the heat in so I love this that does this does come in a bunch of different colors too I'll of course have this link down below but if you haven't seen this I know so many people have it but it really is just the best and I love that you can just roll it right up Okay, so this next thing I might have mentioned many, many times before, but it's gonna be a either like a baby powder or talc-free like baby powder or something to get the sand off. This is an absolute must. It stays in my car at all times. If not in my beach bag, it's in my car. We never leave, we never go to the beach without it, or if we do, we regret it. So you can just sprinkle baby powder or like this um, dusting powder on your feet, on your hands, wherever you have like sand stuck to you, just sprinkle this on and it wipes right off. It immediately dries it so that the sand is not stuck to you anymore and you can just brush it off. It is an absolute must. Yes. So that way you don't track so much sand inside um, your car or it's not like uncomfortable for the kids and just, oh my word, it's just the best thing ever. So I highly recommend, I mean, even if you're not bringing kids, I highly recommend bringing this for yourself. Okay, so the next thing, I'm just gonna mention this, in case you guys have children with sensitive skin, a mineral-based sunscreen is gonna be the best. Um, at least that's what I was told by Sydney's doctor. I have to use just zinc sunscreen for her or she breaks out in eczema. So we use this Aveeno Baby. You can do Aveeno Kids if you can find it too. You just can never find it. Um, so this is what I ended up grabbing. You do have to apply this, in my opinion, you do have to apply this a whole lot more frequently and it's not fun to rub in. But if you have kiddos with sensitive skin, a mineral-based sunscreen is gonna be your best friend. So we actually don't need bug spray very often when we go to our beach, but I do remember as a kid, depends on what beach you go to, there can be like horse flies and bugs and things. Definitely bringing something like a bug spray is gonna be something that you know you definitely won't regret bringing and not needing, but you will regret not bringing it and needing it. Um, we just happen to use this one and it works wonderfully for Sydney and she has Skeeter syndrome. So um, this is the Cutter Lemon Eucalyptus Deep Free bug spray and it works really well for us all right this next item is a must and you guys I have only recently been using this and I love it love it love it so much it's the Tula skincare protect and glow daily sunscreen SPF 30 and this is for me and I use it on my face and on my chest as well again making sure that I am applying sunscreen before I leave the house underneath my makeup if I'm wearing makeup, which I don't when I just go to the beach for a normal beach day. But this is so lightweight and it just glides on so smooth. It's not sticky. It doesn't have like that scent to it. I mean, I don't mind. I like sunscreen smells, but it doesn't have that sunscreen smell in my opinion. Um, and it's very lightweight. Love it, highly recommend it you guys. This has just been working out wonderfully for me and it's so good, obviously, at preventing wrinkles, skin cancer, all of the above. Uh, you, you need to apply sunscreen, okay? I wish I could go back and tell my teenage 20-something self to stop with the sun. <laughs> By the way, as far as sunscreen goes for me, I just end up using Sydney's. Um, that way I don't have to tote around two different sunscreens. Okay, I have talked about this several times recently on my channel, but I just am obsessed with this cup holder. It comes in all kinds of different colors, and I personally use this because I have a wooden beach chair, which I'll talk about in just a second. Um, and I love this thing. So it just clips right onto the edge of my beach chair. So if you have a beach chair that does not have a cup holder, then I highly recommend getting something like this. Uh, it's just wonderful. So I also bring a little change of clothes for Sydney if she gets wet. Um, then she doesn't have to ride home wet. So just to, like a little romper or something that I can fold up and bring is nice. I do bring a beach cover up for her as well, which she really doesn't wear, but if it's cold, then a little terry cloth like beach cover up. Um, I feel like it goes without saying, but I also pack a towel in here and just usually just one and we share it because it's no big deal. Um, because you know, mama usually dries before we leave anyway, so I'll usually pack a towel. 
and then I do pack a, like a wet bag. So I just throw in a plastic bag if I have one or a wet bag or something. So if we want to change there and have uh, wet bathing suits or trash or whatnot, we can just collect it in here and hide it. That way seagulls don't grab anything and run away with it or you know our bag and, and it's just not a sopping mess. So that's what I do. This is a luxury item. I'm not gonna say it's a must have because it's not, but it is really, really good. So I'm gonna mention it here. It's the Living Proof Humidity Shield. I honestly bought this when I went to Disney a couple of years ago and this stuff really, truly works. My hair poofs out and frizzes so bad in humidity, um, which I, like I said, I don't, I usually just throw my hair up in, in a bun and don't worry about what it looks like. But if you're on vacation and you're going to like a nice dinner or something afterwards and you don't want your hair to be a wreck, I highly recommend the Living Proof Humidity Shield. It really does work very well, at least on my hair and in my experience. I've also been loving this beach cover up from Tan Lines. It comes in a couple of different colors and it's just the most perfect, flowy, lightweight, perfect length on me. I am five foot two though, and I always find cover ups that do not cover my butt. And if I'm going to wear a cover up, I want it to cover my bum while I'm walking around. But I absolutely love this one from Tan Lines. So I either wear it to the beach or just pack it with me. So Sydney also always brings her own toys. She just grabs a bag and then fills it with toys that she can carry around and play with herself. I do highly recommend if you can find a little kit of beach toys that come with a mesh bag so that the sand can just fall out of it, that would be wonderful. Um, I definitely need to buy another one of those, but I can't have a beach essentials video without mentioning my kids' toys. I'm also going to mention my beach chair from Business and Pleasure. It is just so good. It has these straps so you can wear it like a backpack and have two free hands to carry everything around with. It's super good quality. Yes, it's a little bit more pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth it since I do use mine constantly at home and at the beach. It's just such good quality and I highly recommend um, getting a beach chair with shoulder straps if you guys plan on, you know, lugging a bunch of things and the family to the beach. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you and gave you some good ideas. If you don't frequent the beach very often or kind of want to know what do I need to bring for my child, I hope you guys got some ideas. Uh, again, give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Video. Bye.